Okay, so that's not one, three, two. Neither is that, but this one must be. Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here, and we've returned back to the wonderful world of last week. And this is my third time trying to record this video. One time, I got a blue screen of death while trying to do this section. And the second time, I opened up two versions of this game by accident, and it recorded one where it just had a main menu on it. But now, let's get into this, and I've had a way to proceed through Thursday and a lot of Friday. So, what we're going to do is solve this magic circle first, sorry, magic square first, get the correct shape flare, and then we should be on our lovely way into this lovely, lovely school, which will give us even more mysteries and death and a surprising character along the way as well. Make the sum of numbers in the table equal to 15 without using the same number twice. Exactly, yes, that's what we call a magic square. Magic, magic, magic. Got a stack of test papers. So we need to give these stack of test papers to the student within the room just before the, um... Just before the, uh, electrical outlet. So I also need that on so I can see where the stupid mysterious spirits are. And then we'll be able to fathom out what we need to actually do next. Which I think is... Actually, I've forgotten now. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually. But when we get there eventually, then we'll be able to proceed right onwards into a thick of it. Because there's some really good story here to uncover and unfold. Both mean the same thing, obviously. Use test papers. Thank you. Got a page of calendar that... But you may also notice on this particular calendar. Okay, beforehand the calendar didn't have a signature on it. And we need to get ourselves a signature for it for us to be able to get it to be accepted. Because when we go to the principal's office and try to get this thing accepted, it doesn't um doesn't accept it because it doesn't have a stamp of approval on it. Exactly, it powers out because there's nothing to proof it. So our next objective now, I believe, is to find needs to find another key somewhere, storage cabinet. We need to go there later. But first I believe the key that we need is not in here, because I'm just gonna charge my battery like so and the key itself is where that model was animatonical model and when we can get there it will be all great so apart from the mechanics of this game like the shovel and the jumping stuff this is a pretty solid game i'm not gonna lie it is a really good game but as i said the mechanics which involves you as a player Interacting with stuff does let the side down a little bit. I'm not gonna lie Right, so I need to go down here then use the flashlight and then Wait, was it not here? I'm pretty sure it was here. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing a crucial step hmm. You get out of the way hmm. That's locked Need to find a key for that. Flashlight. I didn't miss anything, did I? I'm too sure now. No, I think I missed something important. <laughs> oh dear, Kate. Miss Kate. What lied before me was a soulless body of the unfortunate exchange student. I was unable to look at her any longer than I did. During these three days, I've seen so many people die because of my selfishness. It is just as Belletta said. I should abandon everything and run away by now. But I made a promise to Miss Kate. If I broke it, she would be terribly sad. That's why. Huh? Something caught my attention that I had to look at back at her. There's a solid object lying on the floor reflecting the dim light. Got Kate's phone. Excellent. So that was the key that I was missing. I didn't expect that body. Didn't expect that body. Right, and look at Kate's phone. So, the 7th of February, 
or the 2nd of July, 1999. He hiding in the darkness. He always watching you. Who is he? Did you learn anything about the mastermind? A present, oh sorry, a present box with a blue ribbon. Open it, and you can determine everything. Everything? Can I determine my future by it? I'm not too sure, but I think there's only one way to find out on these things, but beforehand a detour to the electrical outlet. Because in that way I don't have to use precious batteries. But you know what, at times, using consumables can be fun as well. But not at this point in time, because there's a survival. If we can use electrical outlet, that means we don't need to use any batteries. Mm. Now we can go downstairs and see what is down there. Right. Without you walking into me, I believe it was, yeah, it was this one. It was this one with a blood splatter. And then I need a flashlight. Go in here. Still nothing. And I do wonder why that's the case. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, this door opens now. That's the problem that I am having. Right. Open the box then. What are you sorry for? I'm not exactly what you're trying to say here, but I think you're trying to say something to me. Nothing up there. Well, I'm dead. Damn it. <laughs> no, don't take the furthest door, which looks like the best option. No, take the worst option, which is the first door. Nothing there. Okay. That password is still... We have a choice. Choose or die. Okay, I'll choose you. That's not the choice. Did we choose good? The room suddenly turned black as I passed out yet again. Waking up, I went straight to ponder all the evidence. It's true that everything is possible in the school, but behind all the chaotic phenomenons, there's definitely someone controlling them. I was like calling for them, but controlling them. I began to understand something when I stared into the security cameras, like I was looking at the mastermind behind a curtain, right in the eyes. Although I still can't wrap my head around it, what good would come to keeping Amalai in such a turbulent state within this abandoned school? Nevertheless, I found much important evidence that makes everything clear. Eventually, I made up my mind and walked up to one of these peeping devices. You're looking at me right now, aren't you? The security camera does nothing. Obviously so. Talking to a machine. Can I ask you something? Why are you caging us? Why trap us within this frozen space? I know I can't do anything to you right now. But before Friday... Before everything ends, I swear I'll drag you out of your hiding place. Things were suspicious since your death. On Tuesday, my found a corpse of a security guard falling from the ceiling while moving the empty frame. The corpse was in a state beyond recognition, so my couldn't help but assume it was her father's. However, it was all a setup. From the information on the ID card, it is clear that it belongs to another security guard, recently hired. That leads to the question, why didn't the mastermind use Mr. Wally's corpse? If the mastermind intended to terrorize Mai, he could have done so, since Mr. Wally died on Monday. Or, there was no corpse all along. It's not very hard to play dead and deceive someone. You just took the chance while I went inside the teacher's office to set everything up. Then, when I got back from the room, surprise! Mr. Wally was dying as he entrusted the key to me. Clearly it was your intention that I survived and came back here on the next day. And probably the other days as well. Or perhaps it was all of, sorry, all for you to appear innocent. I can't really tell, but I'm certain. That Mai's death is not fake. You're the one behind this imprisonment. The one complicating every mystery is for some aim. You went as far as to kill your own daughter. Not to mention deceiving her. But why, what I want to know is... 
What exactly is your aim? Your objective? What exactly do you want out of me? I was just a student here. And now you're trying to terrorize me with my own... My own friends. Dare you. I will never forgive you for these little ones. Little ones. Use electrical out there again. Even though it looks like a very small percentage that I used up. But still. Every percentage helps. Every little percentage helps. Every little hurts. Everything hurts. Tesco's. Everything hurts. From up to down. From left to right. The torso and to the thighs. Everything they do is complete chaos. It's worse than the school actually. Wait. Um, where's my next objective? Let's go downstairs. I almost wait, walked into death there. Uh, I didn't want that. Turn on flashlight. And then... Now the presence on the table. Excellent. Uh, got a label. Got a key label. That and battery. Which is nice. So, what we need to do now is that we need to go to a storage cabinet near the principal's office. There's three different storage cabinets. From left to right, obviously. Uh, you gonna move at some point? Good that you didn't. Okay, let's go downstairs and go to the cabinet, as it were, because that's where we're gonna be using our wonderful key to go further into the game and meet our new friend, the one behind the security cameras. It still feels a bit like a Five Nights at Freddy's setup with the security cameras and the different days and different events going on throughout the days with obviously each one getting progressively worse and the mysteries unfolding as we see it in front of our own eyes. Yeah, this frame rate per second around that area of the map needs some improvisation as well. Uh, that reads, the second floor's key can be used on the first floor, by the way. It's a... Basically, you have to change one of the letters so that it corresponds to either the one before or the one after in alphabetical order. And you could say that S is T, G is H, D is E, R is S, and so on. <laughs> you can get it online like that. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we were going this way for another reason. Mm, but we do need that for something. Yep, use the key XXS. Uh, turn on the video camera, go through here, and any one of these doors, these four doors, they'll lead you to an area which you can't get out of, and if we turn off the video camera, you're literally going to die. So let's just give you an example. So we're in here, we keep going about, nothing's happening so far. Maybe something would happen after you stay in here for a long amount of time, but I really do not know. I don't know if you can look at each and every single speck that is on the boundaries here. Then turn off the video camera and it's showtime. Okay, so we need to go through this door and then let's go over here. Ah, there's a trophy up there. I wonder if I can get up to the trophy. The top of the ladder equals demise apparently. <laughs> Damn it, game! Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing there. Let's ignore that for a moment. Why does my head appear behind the monitor? Anyway, an operating monitor, take a look. I made everyone drown in it into eternal suffering. All of that meaningless endeavor. Try again. Are you crazy? I'm back here for more than a hundred times, and everyone blaming as the one who started this. It is true, but I'm the one holding the last page. All the tormented souls can only wait for the day I finally change the calendar. But excuse me, I have something more important to do. Pim, my dearest student, no matter how much you've changed, I will never abandon you. For that girl, I am willing to give up anything. It also seems like each of these days... Apart from the first day, it had like a little bit of an easter egg behind it, but it's involved in with those games where um, you revive one of the ch well, revive those children. And the other day, we had to escape from a particular monster. 
and uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today is going to be another one, which I think is impossible to do unless you fulfill some requirements beforehand within the game. I broke the key. Don't stamp the key. Nothing to the security guard. Case phone. Smash up the phone. Calendar. Stamp of approval. <laughs> uh, it's a shelf. Hi there. What do you want? What are you doing in here? Who are you? And where's Mr. Wally? I should be the one asking who you are. Did you touch anything inside here just now? No, sir. A good girl should not lie, you know. Never mind. I just want to know what you want. I'm just looking for someone. You mean that dumb, foul-mouthed security guard? Mr. Wally is the man behind everything. He was tricking me. And maybe you, too. He's really dangerous. Hey, now. It's not good to go around putting random blame on the dead. But Mr. Wally is not dead. I'm telling you... I know that you're gonna say, jeez, because I'm the girl who talks to him through these cameras. Why don't you believe me, right? <laughs> the stranger guy mocked me with that fake voice. Its shrill pitch was really infuriating, but he seemed as if he actually knew full well what's in my head, as if he's peeking into my soul. How did you know? Because I'm watching the feed from those cameras. More importantly, every scene's from every corner of the school. I never miss. What? Huh? Any questions about Wally? Why are you so sure that he's already dead? His corpse was gone when I came back on Tuesday, and there was another security corpse inside. And why are you so sure of that? When time passed from the day, they died to the next. But dead people's corpses will not automatically disappear or held off to a pit. Well, that's not how nature works. Hey, we're talking about supernatural stuff here. Let's say it works on a principle. Do you have proof? Have you ever seen a corpse existing past a day? Or have you not even gone back to check? Well, uh... His retort made me dumbfounded for a while. It's true that I never saw a corpse remain in the same spot past a day. Because I can't go back to the room where the corpse was anymore. How would you explain about the ID card? That's very easy. Think about it like this. If Wally is clever enough to trick Amalai into his trap, why would he ever look such a basic thing like the ID card? If I were him, I would check that everything was implacably in order. As for fooling you about his death, forget about it. It couldn't be possible for him to set everything up in less than a minute. You know? Yes, I know. I know it very well. Since I've been watching from the monitor all along. <laughs> Who exactly are you? I'm a small-time computer instructor. I'm going to ask you again. What is your involvement with how the Amalai are stuck in frozen space? Or the 47th year incident? Involvement? Hmm. You could say that. To put it simply, I am what you've been all calling the mastermind, I suppose. But I can't tell you my purpose, girl. You're too worthless for that. So it was you. Slowly uptake, are we? Within less than a second, the door slid shut, cutting off the only way in and out with glaring signal light, which I am supposed still sorry, still unable to interpret. The teacher grabbed my wrist with overwhelming strength and looked at me with creepy eyes. What are you doing? Do you want to know more? No! Let me go! I will tell you something, little girl. You're too young to be involved with death. And you may just pass the point of no return. <laughs> I just... Please, I don't want to know anything anymore. There, there, don't you cry, you vicious murderer. You've already killed many already. 
don't pretend to be innocent. Those were just souls. They were already dead. I didn't kill them. Uh, do you think that making a soul unable to be born anew is more cruel than killing someone alive? Listen to me. This is the last chance. Scram the hell out of here if you still want to see another sunrise. Or you can rot away in the school all you want. I'll take the running option. I'll take the good option. Get away from me, you stupid little doll. Ah, there's a note here. I hit the key to the principal's office. So, I hit the key to the principal's key in the homeroom. Hurry and grab it before the electricity stops working. Hmm? Electricity? Who's saying that there's electricity in the school? I don't think so. I think that's all just dumbfounded to try and trick me. Hmm. See a scene in here. Hey, got the principal's office key. Excellent. Who the hell put it there anyways? Okay, let's go to the principal's office before anything bad happens. Anything bad? Anything? Oh, something bad did happen. And I'm glad we took out the wonderful flashlight because we're definitely, definitely going to need it. Okay. Uh, so for my evidence alone, we couldn't have gone to the principal's office anyway, since we got the lovely thing stamped. I'm going to save beforehand though. Let us change the control, oh, sorry, the dates now. Now that we have the stamp to do this with, now we can do it now. Good. The day has now transpired to the last day of the week. From Thursday to Friday. Greetings! I am now going to be away. And I still have my soya milks intact. I wonder if I'll pass on to the next day. That would be brilliant. See you tomorrow. Am I? Am I going to be able to do that? Last week. Save Pim. Um, what if I can't save him? Try again. Can I run? That's the problem. Yeah, try again. Hold shift. Hold D. We can only move so fast. Uh, other ways? Uh... This doll with a bloody horrific looking machete. Can I? Nah, it's just not. There's, we just can't run it fast enough. It seems like we're going to have to do previous additional steps to do, be able to decipher this. Yeah. You can keep telling me to try again all you want. It's just not going to work. Put the evidence around the entire school on each day about like be a little easter eggs in this game useless i know i am but i can't do anything because it's too late to justify anything anyways i don't know what that said oh dear me it seems like we woke up to the school once again hmm. the last piece of paper a cabinet is a letter and let's read you will never be able to understand those pains unless you feel one through the gap between the frozen space after being abandoned, we were called by, what? We don't know. And brought back to fix a mistake, which is the point of it all. It's the essence of the key that will move the process forward to hand in our tests. But we didn't, didn't know the answer to that formula. Thus, all we could do was evoking the cycle and bide our time. Hoping for a miracle to occur so that she will be brought back from the past to organize it all again. You referring to me? Is that what you're trying to say? You're trying to say that I'm a bit of a suspicious looking one? Hi there. Uh, you hanging in there? Okay. 
That's a that's a dumb joke. <laughs> oh, all the kind of jokes to make. Uh, it's a bit like Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. Hey, it's Yuri. Uh, you're hanging in there. I hope you're well. Gosh, anyone playing Doki Doki Literature Club? It's a wonderful. It's a wonderful visual novel with hidden horror, including hanging jokes. And Hain is just not joke, by the way. Before you say anything. Before you say anything bad about me, no. I do not approve of the use of... That's one of the things that really gets to me. Like, broken glass. And someone out there is going to make a game which is just filled with broken glasses. But do you know what? The counteract of me... The counteract from me, I'm going to say is... If you make a game just filled with broken glass sound effects... Guess what? I'll become numb to the effect after a while. So therefore, making a game filled entirely out of my fears is just a really dumb idea. And there's a present there. Excellent. Labeled X, okay. Where did we use the X key last time? I'm trying to have them out now. Well, me trying to record this last time, but the footage didn't save properly. Still image throughout. Um, let's see, what have we got, what have we got? 27. Oh, we're all good. We're okay. X key. X key was used. Oh yeah, I remember where. I remember full well where. Full well where, where it is. <gasps> Don't. That was a bad choice. That shadow was right in front of me. Uh, please move. Please, I don't have the space. No. Oh my goodness sakes, please move. No, not my way. Your way, your, the other way, downwards. Oh, sideways is even better. Yes. <laughs> oh my Christ. Uh, how much battery do we have left? Okay, I think we have enough to get to the electrical outlet, which still works, by the way. It still works. And on the, on the bright side, um, not having that entire hallway lit means we can actually put, go through it at normal frame rate. Whereas if it's lit beforehand, then it just simply would not. Okay, flashlight, and we're good to go. Proceed onwards within a day. Let's read this first. School schedules. 24th and 25th final semester test. 26th unofficial test result announcement. 31st transcripts distribution. Okay, okay. I only wanted to read for that really quickly because of the implications that if you just stay around for too long, then battery will just wear away on its own. Um, yeah, please despawn out of my way. School rules that apply. Stupid school rules. Maybe I just want to disobey you for once. Okay. Use the X key there. Don't need that there. And we have a... Yep, we have the center control room key, which is good. Which means we can look at this. And we can take away that... You hit the exam papers in shop one. Good. Supposed to be handled in at room 133. So all of those take place either at the canteen or beyond it. Which is excellent. Although this was kind of like at the point of a game where I stopped recording. So anything from here on out will be a complete unknown to me. Unknown. That's locked. Okay, I can live with that. Sliver by. I wonder if there's so many spirits this time around. Sliver past all of you. I'm like a snake. I will sliver everywhere. Hanging there? Okay. But there's now two hanging. Surely there wasn't two the last time around. Shop one! Um. Turn off the flashlight. Normal fuel tank. Shop one. You're referring to these shops? Normal fuel tank. 
and a bunch of numbers which I don't understand. What means my shop? I've already bought items, so if we actually need to buy them while oh well. Okay, so one three three Get out of the way. That's a one-way path, and I can't go up the side of the steps, so I need you to shift yourself out of the way, spirit. Oh, please, just... Oh, you could walk anywhere other than go up the stairs, but yet you go up the stairs. Get out of the way. Why did developers make you spawn right on the steps? It's beyond me. No, I don't, no, don't need it anyways. Um, one, three, three. Where could I be? Well, most. I believe that is one, three, three. Hit the papers on one, three, three. Well, yeah, should have been handled on one, three, three. Cabinet. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That thing is going to chase me. A little bit of rest time with a fuzzy screen. Let's not be cornered in there. Let's not be cornered in there. It's just not going to work, is it now? Oh, I got. There's nobody in there, anyways. Wasted our time! Who the heck are you? What are you doing out here, little one? Good. Key labeled Shop 01. Well, I am very, very thankful for that. But I don't want to be anywhere near you, you big doll. Get out of my way, thank you. <laughs> Being spawned on top of a spirit is not my idea of fun. And we're going to charge up once again. Oh, this was a shop, okie dokie. So, was there anything, anything else in here which I could have used? Got a stack of test papers. Excellent. And the next place would be room 133. Everybody's seen... Surely that ladder must go up somewhere. Surely? Maybe? No, nowhere? Okay. Nowhere is going to be the key then. Maybe this is be everywhere. 50 test papers! That's a lot of test papers. 50 students. 50 of everything. 50 batteries. 50 flashlights. Actually, if we have 50 flashlights, we consume the, the battery gauge 50 times more because I don't think the game would be able to detect the fact that there are 50 flashlights with 50 individual batteries in it. Right. Venturing on a bit. Anyways, detour. Ah, this stairway is now clear. Excellent. But you can stay out of the way. Mm. The library's locked. That's locked. This room isn't locked. Uh, do we need both? Yes, we need both. We need both. We need both. Both freaking things. Ah, we've got two batteries out of this. Are we expecting us to use a lot of batteries up in here? Maybe that's the case. A lovely kiss indeed. Well, we found the end either way, either way. Right. This looks like a very important part of the game, so we're going to be... I thought I saw something appear behind me, but no. So we're going to use a battery, and we're going to save. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Used the test papers. We put the test papers there. I think we did. Uh, it's time to wield our devices again. For the greater good. The greater good of man. And hopefully, the end of the game. Huh? Is there something which we're supposed to do while we're in here? Um... This was the wrong room, so I'm glad I saved in a previous room beforehand. <laughs> oh, the mysteries of this game never ceases to amaze me. I never expect to be killed by one of these things. 
adventuring through the entire game only to be met with BS at times. But you know what? It's fun in the thick of it. Video camera. And just do not screw me over, game. Like you've done so many other times before. Just for once, please cooperate. Anything up here by any chance? Up, something invisible there? Maybe. Oh, we can't go up there. Damn it! Nothing to see up there, and that girl is blocking literally the only path. No, get, please get out of the way. Please. No, stop patrolling that little bit. You're making me use up battery. Go another way. One more to the left. You can do it. Thank you. <laughs> Just keep pushing, okay? I'm not having a baby, by the way. Oh, gosh. So, now that we've put the things there, what do we need to do now? That's locked. Test papers. Test papers. Test papers. Test papers. The test is a paper with lots of papers on it. It's how do you know enough about papers? That's what it is. Hmm? Wait a minute. That. That literally goes upwards. Alright, uh, that's cool. And not in a way, because I think that's a bad thing. Hey! You had him there still? That's cool. I don't think we're that far now away from the end of the game. Can I... Can I... Shovel you a... Actually, I already had it, but... Can I ask you a question? Hi. Sorry about that, but you were kind of... There. And you was killable as well. Maybe what he said to me about being a vicious murderer is referring to the fact that I'm murdering optional spirits. Optional as in like once we don't actually need to kill, but still doing it. I've only got two more batteries left, for goodness sakes. I've been using too many batteries in my lifetime. I will battery it out. Still nothing. Okay. All or nothing. Get out of my way. So, if there is nothing else to do from the note, use the key. Okay, let's just check again to see if there's any more notes. Just checking to see if there's anything else over here. Hmm. Anything else on the monitor? I thought there was not a single person on Earth who could understand me until I met her. She is the only student who could talk with me without any sign of fear like other students. The other kids all see me as a mean teacher. My life as a public school teacher isn't so happy. If you don't please the elders, your career path probably won't go anywhere. But I chose to be different. It's not that I don't want... So I don't know how to use flattery. Oh my god, no. This is not where I want it to go. But I don't want to pretend. It probably sounds crazy. Yeah. You may think I'm really crazy. Okay, here's the story. First of all, I didn't even want to be a teacher, so my whole life has always been dreary. But you know what? I used to be a chief here. It is unfortunately that I lost the position before I met Pim. I would look more credible otherwise. Pim is a lovely middle school student. Not that. She has really good grades in career and technology subjects, except cooking. The first time we met, that was when the school started to promote computer class. I thought there would probably be zero students who interested in it. Until I met Pim. She may not be number one computer expert, but she's mo she's one who understands me most. Pim makes so Pim made me experience what family means. She's like a daughter, but she never knew that. I could only keep the feeling to myself. Then. On the 18th of March 1994, I saw it as Pim was killed right in front of my eyes. I couldn't do anything to help her. Instead, I just ran away like a selfish coward. 
That made me spend the days deep in sorrow. I couldn't even pretend for one I love. How could I ever be anybody's support? With a thought in my mind, I decided to resign from my teaching career, even though other schools were eager to get a staff from the former top school. When two years, when two years have passed since, I read about how groups of Amalai came back to the school and mysteriously disappeared. The news prompted me to dig through some old data and find a way to get near the locus of that incident as much as possible. Then I started to work as an instructor again at the school opposite of this, at the school opposite of this one. One night when there weren't nobody, I snuck into the school with a glimmer of hope. Then I found out that space and time is frozen inside. As I completed the condition by changing the calendar day by day, I found a guy seemingly got inside by mistake. She looks almost like Pim. No, I can sense that she is actually Pim. This is what I have been waiting for. That's the very goal of all the efforts I've put into this. I'm coming for you right now. Hang on. No. What I saw was the girl being deprived of her life by something right in front of me. Again. No way. I'm not going to let you die. I'll save you no matter what. That's the beginning to the unending process of me changing the calendar over again. I would go back to yesterday, the day before, or whatever day I ended up going in hope that it would change something. I started to look for a way to hack the main control system of the school, and also a way to deal with those curses. 15th knew how to turn the emergency light on and off. 70, 70, 72nd connected to the cameras in zone A. 170th unlocked the remote door control function. 251st gained access to every camera signals. 252nd no progress has been made as of now, but I'll keep trying. I told you I would never abandon you. This time I'll tell you that I am uh, a very bad guy. And I will definitely kill you. If you don't get out of here, I hope Pim will believe what I say. You will be safe if you're outside the school. So before it's Friday, I must make her scared and escape as far as she can from here. This time she will survive. I can't bear to see her die anymore. Not even once. I will try my best. I promise. Project Save Pim. And it's you again. What do you want from me this time, dear sir? Why are you still here? Why did you come back, stupid girl? Mister! The teacher threw a brown box he had carried with him into the corner with other old boxes before walking back to his desk, looking grumpy and down. The man didn't retain any trace of the creepy and threatening character he was the other day. Why do you want to stay here so badly? Haven't you had enough? Ever realized the danger? I just... I don't want to give up halfway through. It's true that I should feel concerned, but if I run away now, everything I did will be wasted. You've said it many times, but you never make it. Making a... So making my attempt meaningless for nothing. I'm not sad or anything. You may not understand my words, but it's alright. I do! You do? I've read all your diary entries. Everything you did would definitely not be wasted. If you found that girl, just tell her straight that you love her and want to save her. I said with a voice filled with hope. But his response was an empty gaze and a face of despair for life that I've never seen, ever seen before. Mister, are you okay? You still don't get it. You just... You know. The teacher dug his face into his desk, looking like he was about to cry. But he instead got up and walked straight toward me. I moved back a few steps, but he proceeded to speak his mind in disregard of my reaction. The student I wrote about in my diary. That's you, Pim. Huh? My name is Napper. Whoever you are now. You're still Pimchuknock to me, always and forever. Hmm. 
What if I say I'm not the same Pym anymore? I mean, you should realise and accept it. Pym was dead in that incident 20 years ago. Why do you think that she's still alive? You even said that she is, in fact, me. Do you believe in reincarnation? A choice. I never believed it. I'm Napa. I'm not anyone you know, sir. I'm sorry. I thought you might say it, but it's fine. It's not like I can tell you what to believe. Whatever you think about the whole thing, would you let me support you for one last time? The teacher turned away looking for something in a box and came back handing me a page of a calendar. I received it with a hint of guilt in my heart, but no matter how much I tried to open it, I just couldn't accept being Pim. The one right here is me. I am Napa. Hurry and go change the thing. I've already opened the path. Thank you for being by my side during the week. Thank you so much. As words left his mouth, he cried. It appears this teacher is actually pretty emotional. The sight hurt me in the deepest part of my heart. Thank you for always helping me too, sir. Farewell. Farewell. Hmm. It seems it is a cycle after all. I'm saving bear for goodness sakes. I don't want to lose any progression. Hmm. So he's not creepy after all, just emotionally attached. Right. The path has already opened, you said. So this room. And I've got the cannon door. Change. Yes. And it has a stamp on it. Maybe it is seven days. I can't tell. But it seemed like an ending choice there, probably. Which one you believe in. Congratulations! The end. <laughs> it's usually five days, but is it going to be a secret sixth day? I did it. I finally did it. I changed the last page of the calendar with my own hands. The hellish week has ended. From now on, I'll never have that nightmare anymore. I went out of the school and walked past the workers preparing to demolish the building, just as Mr. Valley said. What he said. The morning sunlight is so bright. Fitting for my new life that's about to begin. I promised myself that I'd never involve myself with the past again. Because today is today, not anything else. Upon finishing the fort, I turned my eyes towards that ruins for the last time. Until it is no longer within my sight. Hey, but at least you still have some soya milk. Normal end. Good luck. Nah. Bravo. That was actually a really nice game to go through. If you're not much of a paranormal fan, then obviously this doesn't really sparkle your interests anyways. But still, a pretty good game overall. Even if you're not really into horror games, this is still a pretty good game to look at. And I would say that... I don't know. The only horror that's really found in the game are the different jump scares. And that's probably about it. So that's my normal end. Um, I believe that another ending could be found if we go to the other choice. Which was by clicking the other choice, obviously. Just a little bit. And if I said that your Pim reborn, would you deny it? I I'm sorry. I can't remember anything. I'm really sorry. I knew it would turn out this way. But I don't think I made the wrong choice when I decided to tell you. Guilt swept from deep within my heart. If I was once called Pimchuknok, I have done a cruel thing to someone who sincerely means well for me. Someone who has always helped me and devoted his whole life for me. But I just can't remember anything about him. I just want your permission. Will you let me protect you as your homeroom teacher again? Mister... I had no idea what I should, what should, what I should say. 
but I understood profoundly how ardent this teacher's good wish for his student was. Right, I will not let you down. I'll smile at him for a little bit. Seems like the receiver didn't see it. But there was another thing which warmed up that gloomy room the best. The hope that sparkled in our hearts anew. The bonfire that gives us warmth despite how strong the coldness surrounding us was. From the statistics I've gathered up to now, you always fumble things on Friday. So it's possible that if you make it out alive, you'll be able to live a long life with nothing to fear. Just have to get so just have to get past today, right? That should be the case. What about you? Aren't you going with me? I have to print transcribes for all the students first, so that it will all finally come to an end. May I come and help you? If you're up to the task. I want to end this scene too. Alright. I've already checked all the security system for you. Your way is clear. I guarantee it. I'm really sorry for not seeing you off. I can't leave the control room. Just do your best and put up a fight worthy of all of those dedication of mine. Alright? What if I can't? I know you can. Yes, sir. I will not give up and I'll come back to help you again. Get through this safe and sound, Pim. No, Napper. That's fine. You can call me wherever you want. No biggie. Okay. See you later. See you tomorrow. Will you see me tomorrow, huh? What about it? Will you see me tomorrow? Hmm. Let's try and end this thing, man. What if I choose the right thing there? And this is, of course, a bad ending. But I do think there was some... No. You're not going to haunt me again, dear doll. <laughs> so... Cool. Just a change in dialogue. But still, that could have an impact on the ending. And we made it out of here. Alive. Again. Congratulations, the end! I didn't see that the last time around. What? Hold on, I'm back here. What? You've got to be joking me. Okay. But we did get to an ending of the game, which I'm very happy with. Anyways, but thank you so much for watching, guys. We're going to be proceeding on to Saturday in the next episode. And I guarantee there's going to be another ending as well. At least an ending. But I don't know how many endings there are to this game. But we've got the normal ending. And we're just going to proceed through this game until we get to another ending. Like a bad ending, or at least a true ending. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and take care of yourselves.